there? Caravan or Raider? What? I said Caravan or Raider. Which are you? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Hey there. Market's the white building with all the fancy columns. Always someone doing trading there. Hey, sweetie. Hi, I'm Meg. Me new to the hill? For ten caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Sure, I'll take the tour. Caps up front. Thank you. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. Hi. Bunker Hill is like home away from home. Got a problem? Only place caravan folk have to mingle together, you know. Hey. You ever see one of our caravans on the road? It's a dice with death. Every time. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need. And sell everything you do. This your store? Uh, yeah, you got it. Caravans come through here. I buy whatever they don't want, fix it up, and sell the good stuff to the next caravan. But hey, no reason I can't sell to a drifter like you. Caps are caps. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Well, it's nice enough. Grew up with the caravans, so I feel right at home here. Don't like how we have to pay Raiders protection money, but that's the cost of doing business in the middle of everywhere. Speaking of which, I got a lot of useful supplies here that need a home. Look at them, so lonely. You give Raiders protection money? Yep. Surprise Mayor Kessler managed to pull that off, but she's convinced him that Bunker Hill is worth more alive than dead. I hate that we don't stand up to him, but what can we do? We're caravan folk, not an army. Anything new in the store? Same old, same old. Take a look for yourself. Sure. Let's take a look. See something you like? Buy it. My stock moves fast. Excuse me. Welcome back. Certainly Looking to trade? Secure. You have any paying work? Yeah, I have something. It ain't easy, though. Caravan is just love swapping tall tales. But I've heard one story enough times, there's gotta be some truth to it. Apparently, the Northern Road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. I'll take care of your feral problem. Great. If you want to stock up first, you never know when one of my knickknacks will keep you alive. Hey there. Better buy my big guns now, because you bet your ass your enemies will. 
What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers, too, for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot uh, death flying faster than the speed of sound? Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. I've got a few minutes to browse. Oh, goody. Let's make mischief. You there. Excuse me. Hey, at least it's honest work. Hey. I'm Stockton. You've heard of Old Man Stockton, yes? Old Man Stockton. I run three caravans that travel throughout the Commonwealth. Old Man Stockton. You ever buy anything from Good Neighbor or Diamond City? Odds are it's been delivered by my men. I'm half tempted to join the railroad with all this shit. I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. <clears throat> huh. Haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. So, you're a doctor? Veterinarian, actually. And don't give me that look. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. So let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. You're a veterinarian? I'm an old caravan girl, okay? You learn to take care of the animals, or you don't have a caravan for very long. Then you get ambushed, a couple of friends and family start bleeding out on the floor, and you learn how to patch a few wounds. You learn triage, too. Satisfied? Now let's talk about what you need patched up. Hear anything, Doc? Nothing that would interest you. Now let's talk about you and your health. Yeah. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. Tell me your symptoms. I've got an itch, Doc. Too many chems. Got anything that can help? You're strung out all right. I got something that can clean you up. All done. Any other complaints? No other complaints. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? You, talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. What's the railroad? The Freedom Fighters, willing to risk their lives for synths. And that means they fight the Institute. Only ones that do. What? You think that's noble or some bullshit? That just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. And what are synths? Synthetic people made by the Institute. Look so human you can't tell them from us. They're monsters is what they really are. And how do you know that? Have you ever met one? If you can't tell who's a synth or not, they can't be all that bad. It's always good to help people. I have no problem helping people. Synths, though? All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save synths? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. What did the Institute do to you? Ah, oh, Gary. He is, well, was, 
one of Cricket's hired guns. He hits the road and comes back to find his wife missing. Yeah, so the Institute kidnaps people. I'm not saying I like it, but the world's a dangerous place. It's not your job to save it. And dealing with the railroad, the Institute. Might as well put a bullet in your own damned skull. It'll just save you time. Trying to save synths sounds noble to me. I'm not alone in this, Dad. Enough. We got customers. Hey. Fine place to sleep right here. Reasonable rate. This some kind of motel? I prefer the term flop house. But don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we ran out all the beds we can. So did you want one? How many caravans come through here? All of them. They kind of own the whole town, but money still has to change hands, so they know which caravan owes what. Bunker Hill is one big money-makes-the-world-go-round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay him off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hey, weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? So Bunker Hill just buys its way out of problems? It's all they know. Caravan folk are money folk. And all the people who settled here are retired from the caravans. Now that doesn't mean a Bunker Hill boy doesn't know how to sling a gun. But why waste the bullets if you can buy your way out of trouble for less? Hey, did you want that room or not? No, not interested. Might want to hit Pa for a drink before you go. Hi. God, I'm still shaking. Hi. Bar's open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. You own this place? Technically, everything is owned by all the caravan companies that come through here. We pool the money together and split it up. But, as far as serving drinks goes, this bar is all mine. Which caravans come through here? Pretty much all of them. All the ones I know about, anyway. Takes a certain kind of person to brave the Commonwealth trade routes. Don't know what started first, the Bunker Hill settlement or the caravans. But they're practically one and the same nowadays. Either way, folks need drinks, so I opened up this bar here. Lots of alcohol on tap for you. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Honestly? Kind of amazed we've lasted this long. We're always one broken deal away from complete disaster. But something keeps this place in one piece. Maybe the old spirits are looking out for us, huh? Hey, let's get some liquor in you before you start asking about God knows what next. You have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not going to send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us Savaldi started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. Any idea where he might have fallen? Somewhere northeast of Malden. That's where they found the bodies of the rest of his squad. The raiders tore them apart, mutilated the bodies. Once, the Minutemen held their own against the Institute. But in the end, even raiders were too much for him. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. You're not with my caravan, so don't bother me. Hi. You'll find I'm very persistent. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. What's the job? I don't know yet. 
Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous, and that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Markets the white building with all the fancy columns. Always someone doing trading there. <laughs> 